Well, we got a pretty nice server here <clears throat> for the Wednesday scrap. But before we dive into that server, I just want to take a quick moment to remind you that we are collecting donations for the Shark Scrapper Shark Adoption Project with the University of Miami. So if you want to help out, go ahead and throw some bucks at me via paypal.me forward slash shark scrapper. Make sure to leave a note that the donation is for the sharks. Every penny goes to shark research. All right, now let's dive into this server. We've got a nice set of ram here. There's six big fat kind of double ram looking things. We'll take a look at those. Another standard looking ram. We got some daughter cards here. Uh, we've got big CPUs here. And we'll see what's underneath of those. Another large processor chip right there. I already took out two power supplies. <laughs> So it's a, just a low grade card, but some nice big chunky MLCCs. So we're going to depopulate those before we throw this in. Actually, when I pull those, it's going to go in low grade. We had a hard drive that we took out of here. It had space for six, um, but it only had one. Yeah, well. All right, so there's a nice gold finger card. <clears throat> They're shiny, but they're real thick. Uh, and then a aluminum heat sink, lots of components on the back here, big thick MLCCs. Um, so I can either take the gold fingers and throw this in with mid grades or throw it in with the PCIs after I take off the aluminum heat sink for my yard. Let's see what we're dealing with for CPUs. Little fan, another little fan. Nice chunky uh, aluminum heat sink. Oh. We got nice green fiber well it's got the metal plate if I take the heat spreader off of there then it would be a uh, nice gold fiber excuse me green fiber so we should have two of them Yeah, we do have two of them. There we go. So, that's yeah, nice. Let's see what these guys learn. Well, they're great big fat RAM sticks. <laughs> One gigabyte DDR266 megahertz CL2.5 PC2100. So, great big RAMs. For those of you that are into depopulating, you got a lot of ICs on this kind of ram stick, uh, plus the gold fingers. And then we have another regular kind of looking ram stick here, 125 megabyte, dim Dell, dim Dell. <laughs> Okay. Just a little Dell card with some tiny little circuits. Just gonna chuck that in low grade. All right, now, uh, here's another one of the, it's another one of these boards. And there we 
go. <clears throat> Frequently with with servers, it's just a question of figuring out what little levers, knobs, and things to pull in order to get at stuff. So um, these daughter cards. These are going to be slot cards of some sort. Let's see what we got going here. So uh, <clears throat> you can check this in with your PCI slot cards. But it's a nice little board in its own right. Gold Corner BGA, Goldfingers, lots of MLCCs, oscillator, thick film resistors, so nice PCI card there. There's two of them. And then we have a backplane board. Let's see, how are you in there? Here we go. Shred. Yeah, that's, boy, that's, uh, you know, you hate to, to, let's see what's underneath of this heat sink. Yeah, so you don't want to call this a backplane if you don't have to. Um, <clears throat> this part is backplane. And you can see there's some nice big chunky MLCCs down in there. This part over here <clears throat> is a good board. I mean, look at that. You've got a gold cornered BGA, you've got a gold edge crystal oscillator, you've got ICs, flat pack, another oscillator, another gold uh, cornered BGA on this side. On this side, you've got some big, chunky MLCCs. So you would hate to give this up, give this entire board up as a backplane board. I'm going to depopulate this board, take off the gold cornered BGAs, take off the ICs, the flat packs, the oscillator, the gold edge crystal oscillator, take off the MLCCs, and then I don't feel bad throwing this in with backplane boards. That's the plan. It's a good one. All right, some more fans. Trash. We've got a couple of heat sinks here. Let's see what's underneath of those. Uh, chip. Ceramic chip and a gold corner BGA chip. So. <clears throat> this is very nice motherboard. You've got some real good BGAs there. You've got some gold cornered BGAs, flat packs, nice big tantalum capacitors. Of course, we have to get the battery off of here. Nice big chips on here, more tantalums, more ICs. This is the kind of thing you expect to see from a server grade motherboard because, well, it's a server and it's the motherboard. <laughs> So we'll get this off and we'll put it with our server motherboards. This backplane board had to come out. Once this backplane board, uh, which is, by the way, it's a nice board in its own right. Look at those big MLCCs. So you could probably depopulate those MLCCs and then still sell this uh, as a backplane board. Don't forget these flat packs. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> once that's out of the way, then there's a knob you pull up, you push the board forward, and then it comes loose. So, nice server board there. Now we also got the front plate off, and that's Ferris. But these little handle things here are frequently aluminum. Yeah, so that's aluminum.
this board has enough stuff that I'm going to chuck it in with the mid-grade boards. Beep. All right, now we have more shred that can just rest inside of here. The aluminum. Get this little bit of wire off of here. While I do a little cleaning up here, there's a link that's going to take you to more of my Wednesday's Byte computer scrap outs. And there'll also be a link there to take you to the video where I introduced the whole shark scrapper shark adoption program project uh, if you missed that. I look forward to more Wednesday's Byte. Please don't forget, drop your donations to paypal.me forward slant shark scrapper for the shark adoption, shark research with the University of Miami. All right, everybody, we will chat with you later on.